still no bridge. Hey there guys, how's it going? Well, what we're going to do in this series, and this is going to be stretched out over a number of weeks because Mojave is quite heavy, still working on his molt and all that sort of stuff. Um, what we're going to do is develop a fictitious shot for a fictitious storyline, right? And what we'll do is we'll give it a working name, and this often happens in film. Uh, a project will be given a working name for lots of different reasons, not the least of which is to sort of disguise what people are up to, so that you can't guess if you're in a major city and you see some of the um, little signage that's been put up around an area to direct crew for filming somewhere. You, you don't have any way to know it, it's Iron Man 5 or um, whatever, right? So the working name that will give this fictitious shot that we're going to create with Mojave, we'll call it ATV Wingman. I think that's pretty cool. So, as I say, we're going to develop this over a series of weeks. Mo is still heavy and obviously a little fragile because his feathers are brand new. They're coming down. We don't want to take any risks, at least for the next few weeks, with any direct flying and interaction with me driving the ATV and him flying along beside it. Um, but we're going to walk you through the process. Now there's a few little tricks and stuff that I'm not going to reveal because I'm a professional and after all this is my livelihood, right? But you will definitely be able to recreate this with your owl, your hawk, even your eagle if you have an eagle. Um, if you more or less follow what I show you. And the key will be is if you were going to do something like this, you're going to need to use your intuition, your knowledge, your instincts to help you fill in the blanks that I'm not going to fill in. So, what would be the very first thing that we're doing? We've been given a fictitious script, and in the script it calls for Mojave to chase plane someone driving an ATV, and in this case it'll be me. The very first thing, it all goes back to basics. We've got to man him to the ATV. So, what would that look like? Now naturally, we don't want to just go marching up to Mo, grab him up, and then go hurtling toward the ATV. That's the last thing that we want to do, especially in the frame of mind where he's at right now. His weight is up, so he's high. He's sensitive because he's molting. We've got all those other things to juggle as we enter this process. So we're going to gather Mo up, and we're going to walk him around from a safe distance, say 30 feet or even more, depending on what he's showing me with his body language. We're going to do a sort of a pass. We're not going to kind of circle the thing. We're just going to sort of pass by it and then we'll walk on. And I'll turn around and I'll pass by it sort of at a slightly different angle, so on and so forth. Trying each time to inch closer to the ATV, just sitting there, not running or doing anything, until I get a reaction. Now, if I get to a place with Mo where he sort of shows me, you know what? Um, no? Then that's where I gotta stop. Alternatively, if I keep getting closer and closer and closer, and there's no pushback, no sort of, it's kind of freaking me out, Joe, anything like that, then I can just proceed. Now, remembering always, as Friedrich instructs us, keep the lesson short. So I'm not going to belabor this. I'm not going to spend like 20 minutes or half an hour at this. I'm just going to 
work at it with him for five or six minutes, see what he shows me, and stop. And then we will continue on with this process over the next few days as the weather allows me, and I will record that for subsequent episodes. But today, we're going to see what his initial reaction is. I would love nothing better than to be able to get to the point where he's on a perch and I'm switching the ATV on and just letting it run, not even sitting on it or anything like that, just so that we can see where he's at in his head. If he'll show me that, if he'll give me that, this will be a great day.
So that was really cool. He let me get right up to the ATV. Wasn't bothered at all. But where his sharp edge and his psyche was, was I'm not ready to jump down on that thing. And it's important sometimes to, to try to find where that sharp edge is. To sort of discover that limitation for them in the moment and also show them that when I see your sharp edge, when I see where you're just not comfortable, this is absolutely the limit, you can trust me to back off and we'll stop. And that's why I encouraged him at the end, told him he was a good boy, did a good job and popped him down on his other perch. So that's all we're gonna do for the very first step of introducing Mojave to the ATV and getting him comfortable with it. Now over the coming weeks, I'm gonna work on this manning process and I'll film it. I'll film how he progresses through it so that we've got another episode coming up to the point where he will sit on it. Probably not when it's running, but possibly but he'll sit on it while still leashed to my glove and not react to it. That's the next sort of demarcation point that we're shooting for. Now we're gonna do one more thing and that's at the request of the Hawk Nerd. She wanted me to show her where I'm holding the leash and the swivel in the fist when I've got one of the feathered ones tied off to my glove. So why don't we see if Halo will give me a hand with that today. Hmm? Alrighty guys. So quick revisit on this. When we're taking the jesses, the swivel, the leash into our glove, transferring them up onto the glove from say their perch, the first thing I wanna do is get the flat of my fingers underneath those jesses. Step. Now, as he steps onto my glove, before I untie him from the perch and tie him to my leash, uh, to, to my glove, what I wanna do is put the jesses between the middle and ring finger. Now, you can do this a couple of different ways. You can have the swivel so it's on the other side of your fingers, which gives them several inches of movement. Or you can even put, you can sort of pinch the swivel between the middle and ring fingers. Now this tends to be a little more uncomfortable. Depending on how trustworthy your feathered one is, particularly a high-spirited falcon, you might even want to just stick with having the swivel on the opposite side. But with Saber, for example, what I would tend to do is take and put the swivel inside my fingers and the leash would come through middle and ring finger. Because he was so trustworthy on the glove, I knew I didn't need to sort of keep him on a, on a short leash. <laughs> so, but generally speaking, swivel either on the opposite side of the, the jesses that are inside your fingers, or you can pinch the swivel between middle and ring fingers. Okay, and then we would untie, now that I have him in the safety position, tie him to the glove, extra leash goes over the baby finger, and you're off to the races doing whatever it was that you wanted to do in the first place. So now I can safely untie him from my glove, tie him off to the perch. Probably go a little bit shorter here. Yes, I know. And then remembering, he can't see, we're protecting those tail feathers. So what I want to do is lift the tail feathers, if you'll let me. <laughs> Come on, you little devil. There you go. All right. Here we go. And step. There you go. Good luck. Okay. Now he's safely down. So hopefully that clarifies that for you, the hawk nerd. If it doesn't, let me know. We'll try again. Okay, guys. Once again, thanks for being with us today. I really do appreciate all the amazing questions and feedback. And if you liked what you saw today, if you enjoyed this learning process, this first step of introducing Mo to the ATV for our fictitious scene and a fictitious script, uh, give us a like, please. 
If you haven't subscribed yet, please jump on board. We'd love you to join our community. We're having some of the best conversations. It's just a great time. And questions, comments down below. If there's anything you'd like me to look up for you in terms of links or services, anything like that, I'll do my best. Just drop me a line or, or drop me a note down below. Okay, guys, enjoy the rest of your week. Take care. A couple of days, we're going to be announcing the Team Feathers logo giveaway winners. So come back on Thursday for that. Okay, till then, take care. Bye for now. Cheers.